hello everyone so let's start in uh, today's my problem is that uh, write a java program to validate uh, validating date when for date format and the validating time format so in this code we have to check uh, we will get a string uh, in date and date in a string form and we have to check if this is a valid or not or within the next program we will see and we will see validate the time format like if user entering this time to show the valid time so entering this like this so user output should be invalid time so first we will see how to validate the date format so you can read the description clearly so for more validations so input is a, a string so input will be a string right so we have to take a input a string uh, one thing is clear now and again you can do that uh, user will enter in a string a string date and you have to check is a valid date or not if user enter is like that then it's invalid date because zero is not there before one so let's do it as a programmatically in java so i already do that but i'm going to remove this and i'm going to show you how to do that practically yeah so now you can see here a user is kind of class in this kind of class i am using the string as one and taking a string as an input and now i am going to create an object of simple date format class which name is sdf equals to new simple date format and in what format i want to convert this string so my format is uh, <coughs> day slice month slice year right in this format i want to convert parts this string so i'm going to create a variable date um, so it's date d equals to and this class simple date format class is available in the text uh, package inside this java java dot text dot simple date format same similarly for date class it's also available in util package right so sdf dot pass i can use and here i'm going to pass my string so it will return to me a date in a proper format so i have to use a try case block because it may be there will be an exception so I'm going to use that inside the try code block and simply I'm going to first print that uh, D how do it look like uh, print talent and D like uh, I'm going to use this date 3 and I can enter 0 and enter so you can see it will print the date in this format and uh, like if I want to do that uh, it's a printing that's date object only but i want as a string so i can use set lenient here set lenient is a false so maybe i will change please wait and was the it so it's the same so what we have to do we have to we can we are not going to use the set linear exactly i don't know why why they use that set linear you can learn and you can read about this on google and it will use for some things some reasons in future i will uh, i will uh, explain you why we use that set linear but um, so we can again convert it in uh, that string and we can print it as it is a uh, date like uh, if uh, i'm trying this as one as two equals to d dot Pass d dot pass d I think. okay for parsing uh, in a string we will use a string s2 equals to sdf dot format format is a uh, for the that sdf class method so we already created that object of sdf now i'm going to call that format and here i'm going to pass this date so i have a finally string s2 and i want a system dot out dot print ln and this i'm going to print s2 so let's check the output now yeah that's this and if i'm going to do that like uh, first i need a day so month i'm going to 
enter the 14 month which is not possible so it will show me the 2 after the 12 it will take 1 and 2 and uh, and it's showing the next year 88 you can see here so it is more like if I'm going to enter in this format so it will convert in a same format well but we have to check that uh, user which user enter the testing is uh, the string is valid or not so for that I can use that uh, screen I can use that match class so as one dot match this match I'm going to find I'm going to type then this code will be executed. so first to two digit I need zero to nine and anything it will be and how many digit I want two digit and next what I want after that I want a slash sign right and how many time I want this and uh, this one time and again I want a number 0 to 9 and how many time I want this for two time and uh, again I want slash and I want this slash as a one time only and next what I want I want uh, uh, four digit numbers zero to nine zero to nine and it's four time okay and after this condition if this condition will be true then the code will execute and next it will convert in a string and or so next we are putting an else condition here and else condition will be system looked up to print a line not valid format not valid format and uh, after this I can print the date also and print the message valid format and uh, I'm gonna check this so you can see the output is a not valid format so by this you can check your uh, date and uh, date validation by this code and uh, in next video I will show you how to validate your uh, time and uh, thank you so much for watching if you like please subscribe and share with your friends uh, thank you